These are the structures from the worksheet for Chapter 7, and you can find these typed up more neatly in the PDF file from the content for that chapter. I've redrawn them here so that you can see uh, how I'm going to turn these sawhorse pictures into the corresponding Fisher projections because that's the key to being able to do what the worksheet asks you to do, which is to compare each pair of structures for each of these three problems to see whether or not they are identical molecules, whether they are enantiomers, or whether they are diastereomers. All of these represent 2,3-dibromobutane, and because that molecule has two chiral carbons, uh, all of those relationships are possible. If they are mirror image isomers, they will be enantiomers. If they are identical molecules matching up atom for atom, we can establish that. And the other possibility is stereoisomers that are not identical and not mirror images, in which case they are diastereomers. Fisher projections are great for establishing and confirming those relationships. So what we need to do is take the sawhorse diagram and redraw it as a Fisher projection, and then we can compare those side by side. Remember that with a Fisher projection, the vertical bonds represent bonds going away from us, behind the plane of the paper. The horizontal bonds are the ones coming out towards us. So what I can do with this sawhorse is start by taking this methyl group and imagine twisting this bond around 180 degrees until that methyl group is pointing straight down and leave everything else the same. That's going to make it look like this. The bottom carbon looks the same. But now turning that methyl group 180 degrees means it's pointing straight down and it brings the bromine over to the other side of the molecule. Now the corresponding Fisher projection for that, because both methyl groups are pointing down in my sawhorse, that means they'll be at top and bottom in my Fisher projection. And the hydrogen and the bromine will have the same relationship. Hydrogen's on the left, bromine's on the right. And so when I'm comparing Fisher projections, I can imagine a mirror between them, and I can see whether or not they are enantiomers. And I can see in this case that's not, not true. It looks like the bottom half of the two Fisher projections are mirror images of each other, uh, but that's not true of the top half. And with Fisher projections, I can imagine sliding them around in the plane of the paper if I want to check for them being completely superimposable, uh, and that won't be the case um, for these first two. So that determines these are diastereomers. Diastereomers. They are not mirror image isomers, but they're not identical. Now, if you notice, all three of these sawhorses are actually the same stereoisomer, so I can go ahead and just redraw my Fisher projection from directly above. And again, check for these being mirror images or, or whatever. And I can see that these two are not mirror images of each other, but it's easy to see that they are perfectly superimposable atom for atom. These are identical. They are the same stereoisomer. Again, I can bring that structure down here to the bottom and make this comparison. Again, imagining my mirror between them. And I can see they're not identical and there's no way to rotate these around in the plane of the paper uh, to match up all of the atoms. They're also not mirror images of each other, so these are also diastereomers. Fisher projections um, are again easy to compare, especially when you have multiple chiral centers to see uh, if all the atoms match up and if they're identical or not. We can also easily identify that this middle isomer, the one for, for molecule 2, those are two versions of what's called a mesoform. Mesoforms are mirror image isomers that are superimposable on one another. And if you imagine turning one of these 
structure is 180 degrees relative to the other, you could see that they are mirror images, but at the same time they are perfectly superimposable. They're just two versions of the exact same molecule. And if you investigate this a little bit further, you can figure out that the Fisher projections for number one and three, which are these two structures, if you redraw those side by side, you can compare and find out that those are enantiomers of each other. Those two, for number one and three, are non-superimposable mirror images. And I'll leave it to you to draw them side by side and confirm that they are not identical, uh, but that they are mirror image isomers of each other.